I'm Patu, and if you don't know, I've been collecting Pokemon plushies for a very, very long time. And in that time, I have met a lot of incredible people who also collect. And I've heard from y'all, I've given you a question of the day almost every single video I get every week. It usually has to do with plushies, and today I have a opportunity, not only for myself, but for y'all, if you ever want to find a specific plushie in your area, or one that you want, I am now starting my own Pokemon plush store, or I should be more specific and say my Pokemon store. So obviously Pokemon plushies, me selling, that would be amazing. And today I actually have a box full of items to show y'all. And these box full of items are gonna be on my Makari Patu shop. I'll actually have the link down in the description below. So please make sure you go check it out if you wanna get some new plushies. I plan for almost every single like big bulk of Pokemon plushies that I have trying to get like a little video out as much as i can showing off those plushies so you don't get only just pictures you get a video from it that's exactly what we're going to start with today and now i have a bucket full of pokemon plushies and we're going to start off obviously with one of my favorites oshawott now if you don't know this is a jack specific oshawott he is from about 2012 a very amazing plushie he looks great the nose is actually really good compared to mine the nose is pretty neat. The eyes look great. Here is a double version of it. The tail is flatter. It only comes right now with the touch tag. No original tag on there, sadly. But a very, very beautiful plushie, I think. And it'd be a great addition to the collection. So if you like Oshawa plushies like I have, please make sure to go grab him. He's gonna be the first one added into the actual Makari cells that I have. I'm also thinking about putting Patu shop onto whatnot. So if you think a whatnot stream would be good, then maybe I'll give that a shot. But we have a Jack specific Oshawa here. And then next up, it's actually a Pokemon plush I also own. And that is the Tomy chest pin. This is from the chest pin released from, I believe 2013, whenever X and Y first came out. Uh, this was one of the more like, not rare, but one of the more common chest pin plushies you could get. It looks beautiful though. I think it looks great. If you don't know, I am a big fan of Oshawa, like I've stated, and he is basically grass Oshawa, as my girlfriend has said. He looks great. There's no smudges that I can notice on him. Just pretty decent. Obviously, whenever the Pokemon plushies get old, you could tell by the little tufts right here, how they look, but a very good plushie in my opinion. The original tag is not on there. However, we do have the Tommy tag. All right, and then next up, we're going back to Jack Specific, and that is going to be with Gen 4's, oh my god, this is adorable, Pachirisu. A very, very happy Pachirisu. It kind of looks like the Sitting Cuties one that I have. The tail is magnificent. The face looks amazingly and happy. I'm super happy to have this in my collection. A very beautiful plush, and if you want, you could also get this in yours. So it has the seam right here where they attach the tail to the ear. And you can just have it sitting down like that. This is probably like actual size that a Pachirisu would be. Let's be real. But a very adorable little guy. Like I said before, I have stated that it only has Tush Tag at the moment. But besides that, not a bad plushie to add to y'all's collection. Especially if you're a Zen Gen 4. Gen 4 Sinnoh enthusiast. A very good Pokemon. Alright, and then we're going to be moving on to this adorable dude and this is a, a laying down trico now i have no idea where this is from as there seems to not be a tush tag on there but a very laying down one very cute if i can find the brand i will put it down in the description or right here in the video just for y'all but very cute you can see right here by the stomach you can see the tails it is a very very cute trico plush I like it a lot, honestly. It looks really cute. Cuter than the Sitting Cuties one, that's for sure. And yeah, a really good addition if you are a Gen 3 enthusiast. And then next up, we have a Sitting Down Jack Specific Riolu. Very cute. He has the Tush tag, however, not the original tag. Um, also, whenever y'all get this, if y'all want, I can clean it up for you. I probably will clean it up just in general for y'all. One thing that I can notice from here is that it does have a little seam right here that's sticking out, but that can either be clipped off or just kept there if you want. Not a big deal with these, but like I said, Jack Specific, and this is from the year 2007. So I'm guessing the Pachirisu as well is from 2007. Very, very cool little plushie though, and I'm super happy to have it in the store. Riolu is such a like rare pokemon before the uh, bandai i think ones came out 
you know, Jazz Bears, before the Jazz Bears one came out, he was a pretty rare plush to find. Mine was like, took a while on eBay to actually get one. So if you are looking for a Riolu that isn't Jazz Wears, but more Jack specific line, then this is one. One of the originals from Gen 4, by the way. And then finally, we have ourselves a Drillbert. And he is adorable. He has little cardboard pieces inside of his arms to keep his arms like this and stiff. Very nice. He is from the 2011 line of Jack Specific with the tush tag. So most of these are just Jack Specific. Very beautiful plush though. You can see the eyes, little dotted angry drillber face. I will say not angry, but it looks like he could kill you just with these eyes, these maniac eyes. Very happy face. He does not seem to have any wear and tear on him, which makes me very happy because my drillber kind of does have some wear and tear on him. Um, but yeah, I do kind of want to replace my job right now after seeing him, but very adorable plushie and he is going to be on the store as well. All right. And like I said, I have all these guys right here. I put them in a bucket together, which I'm actually going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all where I keep them just so you know, they are safe and sound from either animals. Cause you know, I have a few animals in my, uh, that I have, I own, they are safe from them and you will see exactly where I put them. But a very cool array, I'm going to put them down in this box for now, a very good array of plushies. So if you are interested in adding and supporting me financially, question mark, whatever usually gets done from here will be going into the Pokemon plush collection and a Poke plush living deck. So it'd be greatly appreciated if y'all give a little like, give a view, maybe send it to somebody if you have um, somebody that wants to buy some Pokemon plushies but is looking for a price. I am trying to get these to 10 to $15 and then I believe like $4.30 for shipping. But, 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 if you look in the description of every video or every uh, thing that I have for each plush, there is a... Um, there is a way to talk to me and you can message me and figure out a price with me. I am pretty good at it, I believe. Um, I think I'm pretty fair when it comes to pricing. Uh, some of the better ones that I think will go for about 15, but most of them I do believe will be about $10. So that's about the same price or even less than the newer ones, but you're getting like 2007, 2011, things like that. It's very, very cool. Um, and hopefully you guys will be there and make sure to get some Makari things if you want. Like I said, down in the description, there will be my collection of plushies that you can buy from me. And if you can't tell, I have the white and blue on. I am a Pokemart seller, by the way, now. And I'm super, super excited. But yeah, let's show you guys where these are and finish off the video. All right, and right here, I do have a little container. I usually keep it on the side of my room right here, just on the edge. But... I said I'll show it would be the start, but I actually do have one already listed if you want to go check it out. It is my actual uh, Quaxly that I had. It is a bootleg, by the way, so just be warned. But we are going to put Oshawott, Pachirisu, Riolu, Chespin, Drillbur, and of course, the last one, Trico. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end the video off with the links and everything. Please make sure to go check it out if you're interested, and I will see you guys next video. Peace out.